today we are going to do a very long awaited anticipated video and I'm so excited. I finally feel like you I'm so like close enough to you guys and I get to know a lot of you to um, be able to tell everybody my story, the whole basis for my channel. And I'm just so excited to finally share with you guys. Um, it's been long in the making, so <laughs> yes, I finally get to tell you guys. Um, I'm just, it's, it's really exciting because um, a lot of you guys have asked me, you want to know my story, and it's finally here. So I'm just so excited to be able to tell you guys. Um, so yeah, so this is my glasses story. It's, it's unreal, you know, to, it, <sighs> sorry, it's unreal that I have, you know, quite a few subscribers that want to know about me and my story. And it just feels unreal to me sometimes that I do have, you know, as many people as I do that are interested in my glasses and my glasses story and I just want to say that I love you guys. You guys are like my second family and I'm so happy that I found a community that accepts me for me and you know it's it's great. It's just you know it's amazing. So this is going to be a long video. Like I said, it is my story from the beginning about my glasses and growing up with glasses and what I had to go through and what I'm still currently going through. So yeah, get, get ready because this is probably going to be a long video. <laughs> so the very first time I got glasses, I was five years old. As some of you may know, they have been around my channel for a while. Um, I was five years old. My mom, you know, started seeing that I wasn't seeing like, you know, I was supposed to be. And um, so I was five years old and I, like my vision gets worse every six months. So I was going back to the eye doctor every six months because I could not see out of my glasses. It was, it was unreal. And, you know, I remember going and Everybody there at the eye doctor would know my name. I mean, I am from a small town, but the eye doctor I went to, they said I was the only person that they ever saw with vision like mine. So it was, they were just like, I don't know if they were excited to see me because it was something that they had never seen before, but yeah, so everybody knew my name. I remember that. A lot of people have asked me, um, my parents and my sister, both, all three of them, um, did have to have glasses. My sister still wears contacts, but both of my parents went and got the LASIK surgery done, which I will never qualify for. Um, so their vision wasn't as bad as mine. So, and my sister didn't get the bad vision gene. I mean, she, like, can go to Walmart and pick up contacts. I think she's only, like, a negative, like, 1.5 or something like that. And so it, it's just really like easy for her. And so I don't know. I just got the bad vision gene, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. But um, yeah. So like I said, I was going to the eye doctor every six months and it just, it just started becoming unpleasant and a bad experience because I would go in there and I knew that they were going to tell me that I would have to get new glasses because my vision got worse every six months. And when I eventually got older, I started becoming more self-conscious and I would literally like leave, like I would just like hold up all of my tears and all of my emotions until I left the eye doctor. And I remember leaving every time I would leave when I got to a certain age I would just start bawling when I left because you know it, the thought occurs like you know is this eventually gonna stop is or am I is my vision just gonna keep getting worse until I go blind or am I gonna go legally blind or you know there's just a lot of thoughts just like run through your head when you have bad vision like this and I remember when I got older, I remember asking my eye doctor, I was like, is this eventually going to stop? Like, you know, or can I go blind? 
And she told me, she was like, well, your vision should stop changing at the age of like 19. And I was like, okay, that's the best news I've ever heard. Like, you know, it should eventually stop. It should eventually plateau. Like my body's going to stop growing and I can finally like, you know, not have to go to the eye doctor every six months and keep feeling this horrible emotion. It was just so emotional. And, um, so yeah, so that was great news, great news. And, you know, <sighs> okay, sorry. Um, so that was just like a little bit of backstory. So I'm going to go back to um, going through school and what that was kind of like. And eventually, you know, the two are going to meet up at the end and then we will get to where I am today. I don't remember much about my glasses, like going through grade school. Uh, just like I've already told you, just, you know, having to go to the doctors every six months really made me hate my glasses. It just, I started getting to that age, you know, like the the teenage age where, you know, your body starts changing and I started getting a lot more self-conscious about my glasses. I, I was like, oh my gosh, like, am I going to start getting made fun of for this? You, you know, like teenage girls, they start thinking about stuff like that, like getting made fun of and bullied and... Being bullied is a really big thing nowadays and, you know, um, it's, just, it's a horrible thing. So I remember sixth grade very clearly. I went to my mom and I was about to start a new school and I went to her and I said, Mom, look, you know, I don't want to go to this new school with these thick glasses on. Like, I want to be able to make friends because they like me and not because of how I look. And... So I thought that wearing contacts was, you know, was going to be the best thing for me. So I begged her to let me wear contacts. So I was in sixth grade when I got my first pair of contacts and I absolutely loved it. I was so happy and I made a lot of new friends at this new school and it was just, it was amazing. And uh, I kept most of those you know, friends that I made then. I, I kept most of them throughout high school and some of them are still like most of my really good friends. And so, but yes, I remember begging my mom, like literally begging, like, please let me get contacts. And they, and they did. They did let me get contacts. And I had been wearing contacts from since sixth grade all the way through till high school and even into college. Um, but there was this one time that I couldn't wear my contacts anymore because I had someone in my graduating class of senior year, the very beginning of senior year, I think it was only like three weeks in, we had a friend pass away and that's a very hard thing to go through in itself and I was crying. I was bawling my eyes out all the time and it was just insane. And um we you know, we had to go through that and it was it was a horrible horrible experience. And so like I said, I was crying all the time with my contacts in and I eventually got this really really bad eye infection. It was horrible. And so I went to the doctor and they were like, you cannot wear contacts anymore. You need to wear your glasses all the time. Well, I didn't have any glasses because I, I had just always worn contacts. So we never went back and bought me glasses. So they had to get glasses in, you know, my thick, you know, thick lenses. Um, th I got those glasses in three days. They were like, you, you you just can't wear contacts. And I couldn't see to do anything. I couldn't go to school. I couldn't, I couldn't do anything. I, I was helpless. And so, like I said, they got those glasses made for me in three days. And, um, 
But in, in those three days, I couldn't wear contacts, I couldn't wear glasses, and I had no glasses, so I could not go to school, like I said. And I, in those three days, I remember, like, thinking, like, nobody has seen me with glasses on before, ever, at school. And I, you know, I never, barely ever wore them at home, except for, you know, going to bed and waking up. But... I remember feeling scared. I was so scared because I was like, what are people going to think? They've never seen me with glasses on. They don't know that I wear, I have such horrible prescription. They don't know, you know, and I was so scared to have to wear glasses to school for the first time since sixth grade. And I was just an emotional wreck. It, I was so scared of what other people were going to think of me and how they were going to look at me differently. And, like, you know, at, I had a boyfriend. that I don't think he had ever seen me with glasses on before then because I made it a point to not wear my thick glasses around people, around my friends, and it literally scared me. I was literally, like, people are, are not going to look at me the same. They're not going to, you know want to be friends with me anymore and it's such a stupid thing to think now now that I'm older but I was in high school and I was going through this and you, that's just what teenage girls think about and like I said I literally felt scared and I was already an emotional wreck from the um the friend passing away and it was it was a horrible time for me and so I eventually got the glasses, and they were so thick. I was so, it was, it was horrible, because it wasn't like they were shaved, you know, because you can get your glasses thinned out a little bit, but they couldn't even do that, because they had rush ordered them in three days. So when I got them, I was like, this, this is insane. Like, I can't do this. And it was just, it was horrible. And my mom made me go to school, because I had to go to school, and, um, I mean, I, I'm from a small town, I'm from a small school, and surprisingly, nobody ever really made fun of me. I, I was so scared for nothing, and I remember thinking, and I look back on it now, and I was like, that was so stupid to think that people weren't going to be friends with me anymore because of how thick my glasses are and how they made me look. And, and nothing, I mean, I got a few nicknames, don't get me wrong. I had a lot of people that was curious about it, that, you know, wanted to see my glasses. They were so interested. They were like, I had no idea that your vision was so bad. And it was like, no, because I made it a point to not wear glasses to school ever. And I think that really... It really helped being from a smaller school and not everybody is that fortunate to be from a small school but I think that helped me become more confident because a lot of people like I said a lot of people didn't make fun of me I mean I did have some nicknames you know obviously people called me four eyes or um, another one Or another nickname that really stuck with me was Fishbowl, and that was really hurtful, and it was actually one of my friends that had called me that, or someone that I thought was my friend. We're no longer friends anymore, but um, she thought it was funny to call me Fishbowl, and because my glasses were so thick around the outsides and my eyes were so small, she was... It just reminded her of you know, a Fishbowl, I guess. I don't know. And it was, that was really hurtful, but I got through it because it's not like everybody was attacking me. I didn't get any of that. I mean, it was, like I said, it was only certain few people that had made those nicknames for me. And I feel like that, you know, it's probably harder for, for kids nowadays to be able, because everybody thinks bullying is cool nowadays. And back then when I was growing up, I mean, we had some bullies, but it wasn't like masses like it is nowadays. You know what I'm saying? And on top of those nicknames, the worst thing that did happen to me was people were just really interested in seeing my glasses and how, you know, how, like, 
So they would come up and be like, can I see your glasses? Like, can I try those on? And it's like, I was so self-conscious about it. So I was like, no, not really, but okay. I mean, and so that was when I got my first taste of people making bad comments about it. And they would try my glasses on and be like, you know, make comments like, wow, these are so thick. How do you see out of these? They're just so thick. Or like, holy crap, you know, and just... And then they would take my glasses from me and be like, oh, how many fingers am I holding up? Like, they think it's funny and they think it's cool. But when you're someone that is really self-conscious about that particular thing that you're pointing out to them, it's not so nice. It's not so cool. It's, it's a horrible experience. That is something that I really wanted to touch upon was bullying and it's uh, you might think it's funny but it's really hurting that person that you're making fun of and like I said I didn't go through a lot of bullying so I think that's why I am so much more confident nowadays and I'm sitting here talking to you guys and making this video about my story and uh, I just I I'm more confident now but with bullying being a really big thing nowadays, being on social media and being in person and people just aren't afraid to say what they think sometimes and it's it's really not okay. It's just not okay. Like I got a message from somebody on my Facebook that is one of my subscribers, one of my family on here and he said the other day he had somebody come up and take his glasses right off his face without his permission and was making bad comments about it and you know and um, then he would ask for his glasses back and they were like you know he said people were just passing around and he kept asking for them back and nobody would give them back and to me that's a form of bullying and that's that's not okay and it's first of all I want to say do not, do not ever go up to somebody with thick glasses and just snatch them off their face. That is their lifeline. That is their everything. They can't see without that. They can't be, they can't do anything without them. So if something happens to those glasses, they're, they're kind of stuck. And so I got that message and I felt so bad for this person that they had to go through that. And that's just horrible. So don't ever, like, you know, go up to somebody and take their glasses right off their face because you're curious about it. Ask nicely and, or just, you know, don't say anything at all. Uh, if it's not nice, don't say anything at all. And that, that really hurt. And I can't believe that some people still do things like that. Like, I've never had my glasses, like, up and snatched off my face. But it, that's horrible. And that just made me feel something and I, I just so I just wanted to come on here and also say that but anyways I'm sorry I kind of went off on a rant um so after I had worn my glasses to high school like I said I, I didn't go through a lot of bullying not like mass bullying on the scale that it is today and I think that that helped me be more confident and gain my confidence and you know I so I can be able to come on here and talk to you guys about this so that really helped me and you know I wouldn't be in the place I am today if I never had to wear my glasses to school and get a little bit of criticism about it 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 like it changed me for the good and I took that and ran with it. I know it's easier said than done but try to not care about what other people think because for people like us with glasses like this it's something that we can't change about ourselves so you know try to not listen to what they say and like I said I know it's easier said than done but at the end of the day this is who we are. We can't change, you know, we can't change that about ourselves. And yeah, so if you are getting bullied out there, it's not the end. High school eventually does end and 
when you get out of high school and more into college, if you go to college or more into the adult real world, people start not caring about that stuff as much. Like I said, I, I'm 23 going on 24 and I'm in college. I have a full-time job and I'm not getting bullied. I mean, I still have people come up to me wanting to know more about my glasses and like if they can still like see them and try them on. I actually had some, a coworker the other day at work ask, ask me if they could try my glasses on and my response to that is here let me teach you a little bit more about this and then you can try my glasses on and that's exactly what I did and I'm hoping to get the word out there you know by educating these people that you know this is something I can't change about myself so you know don't you know if I feel like if if people learn a little bit more about this, then they're not going to make fun of it. They're not going to, you know, make the smart remarks if they know that, you know, we can't change this about ourselves and, you know, we're just regular people. We just have bad vision. So that's what I try to do. I try to spread the word and that's what I'm doing to you guys and that's why I started this YouTube channel. I just believe that... Everything happens for a reason. There is a reason that you go through hard times and it's usually to become a better person and to better yourself. And that happened with me in my classes. I, like I said, it made me a better person. I am a better person for going through that stuff and making it through it. So yeah, so thank you so much for watching this video. I love you guys so, so, so much. And... You know, go ahead and like this video if you have any questions for me or if you have anything that you need to tell me. I'm here on YouTube all the time. You can leave a comment down below or you can message me. I do have a Facebook, which is um, Moose09MM, the same as my YouTube channel. I have a Twitter. Um, I have a Snapchat. What is my Snapchat name? My Snapchat name is Moose42011. And yeah, so you can uh, find me on Snapchat now. Send me some snaps, you know. Twitter, uh, Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> I think I got it all. I think I'm also on Tumblr too. Like I said, if you have any stories that you want to tell me, go ahead and tell me. You can message me anything you want. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave those down below. I'm more than welcome to answer your questions. I love you guys and you know you guys are like my second family and so you know thank you so much for you know listening to my story and letting me get it out there get my message out there and I love you guys so so much and I'll talk to you guys later I love you guys bye